in. Wow! Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go 10 hours a day. We go 24 hours a day on the internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope you've been having a great day, safe day. Let's make it a great night, folks. Love coming out of you makes you happy. The whole world can love you, but that's not the love that will make you happy. What will make you happy is to share all the love you have inside of you. That is the love that will make the difference. Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials down 10, NASDAQ up 57, SP's up 13 and a half, gold contract down $4.70, try down 360 at 1411 an ounce, silver off 8 cents, $15.20 an ounce, light sweet crude flat, $59.21 a barrel, notes and bonds. You get the 10 year note. Up eight ticks, 127.27. The 30 year bond up 19 at 155.18. King dollar. King dollar up 12 ticks, trading 95.740. The euro is at 113 to 1 US dollar. The yen is at 107. And the pound is trading at 126 to 1 US dollar. Our phone number is 877 Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world? In the world of the SPs, let's take a look at them. What do you have? Okay, so. Spy out here, anemic volume on the way up. Bottom line, though, you're in an ABC structure on the way up. I expect you're going to finish this ABC structure. When you take a look at the SPY, what we have with the SPY out here, we did 38 million shares, anemic volume. You're at 291.52. The last high of last week was 296. This uh, ABC structure is uh, 303. So uh, it's quite a, that's, that's a lot of points. We'll see how it uh, shakes out. You're coming into the end of the month. You're coming into... Hol uh, July 4th holiday. We're coming into the G20. Somehow I expect that that's going to finish off. Now, that being said, what you have here is this. You, if we go all the way up there and that volume does co contract all the way up, you finish off the ABC, guess what? Then you are going to go right back downtown. NDX 100, same setup inside the NDX. What we have with the NDX right now, you went higher today, 18 million shares. That is absolutely anemic. You're coming into the 33 million. Same type of setup, though. This NDX wants to get up in, uh, into that high. Let me see. The, uh, the NDX, well, the, the Q's, 185 is your B. It's a big one, man. Uh, yeah, you get 16 bucks, which gets you the uh, 181, 196. And oh, that'd be cool. Yeah, it's still, but that's still 10 bucks higher. That's, that's, that's a number, no doubt about it. Gold contract. What do we have with gold? And this is where we're going to get get some big action, folks. Uh, the gold contract, the note and bonds, and the dollar. Gold, notes, and bonds are an ABC structures on the way up. Dollars, ABC structure on the way down. We're going to take a look at this gold contract out here today. You've done 323,000 contracts. You're down 340. It rejected 1401. You closed at 1412. Nice setup, man. I, I like this setup coming into the weekend because if we get an ABC structure up, it's a monster, man. The, the, um, it's a 1442 is your B and 1323 is your A. So you were talking about $119, which would get you into 1520 bucks. And we're at 1412 right now. Um, bottom line, if we go take a look at the GDX, what you're going to see inside the GDX out here, same type of setup. Pretty, uh, you know, GDX pull back today with 41 million shares. You're going into 101 million. And the GDX is just getting ready to make that run to 31. Right now, the GDX is at 25. Uh, if it launches the 31, then you're going to see this baby at all-time highs at 66. The 31 is laying out here from the highs of... August of 2016. That was the last huge run that we had. Uh, if you were in that run, you know that uh, these equities are up a couple hundred percent. They started in January. It was a one-way move. We started in January at $12.40, and you ended up in August at $31. Huge move. Uh, this one here, as you can see, we started at 20. You know, so bottom line is that if we took the same correlation, which is kind of cool, 12 to 30. 12, yes, it's 24, 30, well, it's about, let's say, two and a half. That would get really interesting because you do two and a half, you end up with somewhere about 50 bucks. 
So we'll see where the baby shakes out, but it does want higher price. Notes and bonds also want higher price, lower yield. What we did out here in the note market today, uh, we did reject lower price. You had light of all, and we did 1.27 million contracts. You got to a price point of 127.12. You were coming into 1.9 million contracts. So you can see you didn't have any sellers. You rejected lower price. You finished at the high of the day. These still want higher price. Right now, the yield is 2.007. 2.012, actually. And King Dollar. What do we have a King Dollar? King Dollar out here, folks. Bottom line, setting up a nice ABC structure on the way down. Having a really tough time holding price whatsoever. And if we take a look at this, what you're going to see uh, inside King Dollar is that we got to a price point today of 95,920. You did 10,500 contracts. You closed at 95,750, which was under the low, under the highs of the last two days, and you had lighter volume. Your B point on this is the low that was established on Tuesday, which is 95,365. It's a two penny A to B equals C to D, and if that's what we get, that means you're going to come down to the 93,920. And if we put this on a continuous contract, you're going to see that the 94 level is your next level on the way down. And if we break this 94 level, then what you're going to see out here, the 94 level, by the way, is where we've been consolidating all the way back since October. You break that 94 level, uh, bottom line, uh, well, yeah, 90, 93, 395 to be exact. You break that level and then game on into 88. So you're talking about a very large number uh, if, in fact, we break that. Uh, what we have done is this. You have definitely, the dollar index has broken the trend that started at 88. So when you take a look at the trend line and how we broke, and we broke with conviction, that's saying, guess what? That the 88 is game and is game on this run, you know? So when you start putting it all together, meaning you put the Fed fund futures rate as to where interest rates are going, where bonds and notes are going, it's going to be a lot easier uh, for gold and metals in general to go higher. Why? Because interest rates look like they're going back to zero once again. Right now, the Fed fund futures rate is at 2.25 to 2.50. Uh, one cut, next cut is coming 100% probability, July 31st. Your next probability is September 18th, and that's a 65% probability. So they cut off a half a percent, folks. That means we're uh, down to that 1.75. Coming right back, folks.